Hello there and welcome to episode 7 in my Kenya travel vlog series. Join me today on a culinary adventure cooking the finest traditional Kenyan cuisine before heading back up to Nairobi, the capital city of Kenya. We began the day by getting a tuk-tuk ride to a local supermarket where we were meeting Naomi, our cooking class host. Next stop was Ibiza Market where we'd purchased the goods we'd be cooking. We opted to walk back to Naomi's place rather than get a tuk-tuk so we could get a feel for the local area. Should have put my Crocs in um, out of sports mode. I mean, <laughs> into sports mode, sorry. <laughs> Naomi is the first person I've seen in Kenya with a pet dog, but she was so cute. We just finished buying some ingredients at the market and now we are going for a walk. Uh, what, what is the area called that we're even going to? Ukunda. Ah, okay, so we're going for a walk to Ukunda and um, we're going to start cooking some nice food. So I will show you that in a little while. Come to open from here with me. Oh. Opening. Yeah. But in my village, we make proper kitchen. <laughs> and the girls sleep in the kitchen. <laughs> After cooking, they sweep and put the mattresses down at least. Awesome. Whew. So we are now in the village. Nearly. Oh. And nearly at the kitchen. <laughs> oh. There's a nice breeze. Yeah. <laughs> so we just arrived at Naomi's lovely home and we're about to start cooking. Hi. <laughs> so we're going to start peeling the potatoes. I don't even know what we're making, but. Uh, uh, we're making the um, Jesse Karai Bajia, a uh, Kenyan street food. It's a good thing you said that because I don't think I can pronounce it well. <laughs> Peeling like a peeler. <laughs> Crushing the um, garlic with salt to make something. Yeah. I'm gonna try the vizikarai. 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 Yeah. Still really hot. You're hot? Mm hmm. Ah. So I'm gonna try the vizikarai. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll dip it. It's hot though. Very. I feel like I'm gonna burn my mouth, but. Mmm, it's very nice. It is. But I think I'll come back when it's colder. <laughs> it's very nice. It's like fried potato. So it's got like garlic and then this sauce has onions and stuff. And yeah, it's just very beautiful, you know? But very hot. <laughs> <laughs> Some more of those lovely potatoes. Mm -hmm. You guys should come and book this cooking class, it's very fun. I'm already full, those potatoes are really nice. What? Yeah, but don't worry, there's more room, there's more room. <laughs> I'll make it fit. <laughs> but so far, so good, it's a good experience. It's good for the yeah. environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have the Vizi Karai. Yes. Yeah, I'm trying, sorry, I got, I'm excited. Trying some Vizi Karai. I got the pronunciation right. Mm -hmm. So it's like potato and we dip it in the sauce like this. Da, 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 da. And then you just eat it like that. Mm. 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 All the flavors is coming out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want more, more, more. You add tamarind sauce. Yeah. You add salt, it becomes sauce. You add sugar, it becomes it juice. juice. Yeah. <laughs> We're making some japati now. Yeah, roll in the japati. Mm -hmm. It's an expert. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not the expert. Yeah. Better than what I can do. 
I don't even know it comes so big. Yeah, it does. In my head, you use like a small round thing and then... Patience, my child. <laughs> <laughs> That's just funny. <laughs> just one of the steps. Oh, okay. <laughs> Step one. <laughs> Next, you need to oil the dough and then cut it into vertical stripes. So you okay. see the parota, you see the layers. Yeah, so yeah. This is how the layers come. Oh. Yeah. Mmm. Trusting the process. Oh, I look hot and sweaty. Look at my tan lines. This is actually wild. You can see all the different outfits <laughs> I've been wearing. This is where my necklace was. Yeah. I need to put my necklace back on. <laughs> said, oh yeah, I'm going to record. I'm going to take pictures and see mm -hmm. me just... With oh, my yeah. eyes. Yeah, so with your hands <laughs> like an observer in your oh, <laughs> observing the lecture. <laughs> the chefs from I all the way from one. UK. Yes, yes. You can show us what you got. <laughs> Alright, first step. The flour goes here. A little bit. A little bit, but this? No, no, Can use your hands. Okay. In Kenya, we use hands. <laughs> okay, so a little bit of flour. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> She's okay, so I know like, for a cut. Like, <laughs> too, like yeah, salt yeah. bag. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of flour, and then. Uh huh. Take your. Yeah. Your molded chapati by the professional. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Then roll it. Then you do like this. Mm -hmm. So then uh, <laughs> you'll probably press it down to maximum. My hair on it. <laughs> then yeah. you just roll the chapati like ah, yeah. and then when you get stuck, you just yeah. How big is it supposed to be? Mm, not so big. Hmm. You have to feel it. Your ancestors. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, my ancestors will guide my hands. Yes, yeah. they'll tell you guide when to stop rolling. The stretch is enough. My <laughs> Listen, this one is enough now. Okay. You have to make it like. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> I just have to roll. You must have not heard the call from the ancestors. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, my ears are blocked. <laughs> Did you manage to <laughs> 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 What is this? <laughs> Which part? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have another part? <laughs> this one. This is, this, is the, this is the sauce that it needs to go into. <laughs> What's the air bubble? <laughs> How is this? What? Are we we still using this part? <laughs> Olivia, are you here in the kitchen with us? <laughs> I think I made it too flat. Okay, take two because that did not go to plan. This is the professional. Yeah, you can see even from the look. Yeah. I'm telling and I'm not bragging, I'm just making them so nice, sweet and easy. You know what I mean? And <laughs> then Olivia, there's Olivia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My ancestors have guided me well for this one. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, wait till I put this in the pan. Everyone will be jealous. They'll just come running. Everyone in the booth, <laughs> they'll smell it. Hmm. Remember the shape of the pan, I'll be like, look well. Yeah. <laughs> don't give us a shape of something we don't have. <laughs> this one I think is good. It's basically round. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, it's better. Mm -hmm. Baby, don't go more. Okay. You're destroyed. <laughs> As you can see, guys, I have a perfect chapati here. Look at that, it's basically a circle. <laughs> if you can all draw a circle with me, you'll see the shape right here. And she's a maths teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so here is Kenya. <laughs> basically, I was going for the shape of Africa. <laughs> Kenya lies down there. <laughs> <laughs> and just here we have Zimbabwe. <laughs> But if you look at the thickness, you can see the consistency. It's the same, 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 all the way around. <laughs> same, 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 same. One level, one Japati. Yes. yes. One yeah. Kenya. Yes, one Kenya. <laughs> one nation. <laughs> Africa unite. <laughs> ah. I'm almost done. It's okay. So oh. that you can bring your one map. <laughs> Um, and an income can drop. Yeah. I have finished. <laughs> I can't wait. 
I'm almost done here. It's you okay. can see my chapati is very lovely, nice. So Mine will also look like that one in Jesus' yeah. name. So, <laughs> you put it in Jesus' name. <laughs> I'm sure it will taste even more lovely. I put so much love into this one. <laughs> even put Jesus Christ inside. <laughs> uh, ancestors, guide me now. It's too late. <laughs> you scattered it. <laughs> Maybe they didn't hear me the first time I could. <laughs> Olivia, could you have picked that up? Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, mine looks just as good as yours. It's just got some extra fat around the edges. Some. <laughs> Yeah, plenty, and plenty. You wish. <laughs> <laughs> See, I even made two guys. There's one on the top that I made, one on the bottom. Uh -huh. One on the bottom I also Pardon. made. <laughs> you did what? Yes. A whole Kenyan said that my chapati is nice. You see that? You've tried. <laughs> After a long day of chefing in the kitchen, this is the feast that I have prepared. The moment has that you prepared. prepared. I prepared you my prepared. chapati. My my biscuit, yeah. chicken, and my mango. Oh, I work so hard, slaving in the huh? kitchen, slaving, slaving for hours. Uh huh. Oh, yes. You've worked hard. Working up a sweat. Sorry for the gods. Now I can't. <laughs> I can't wait to eat. I'll eat well. Yeah. <laughs> come on. Oh, he actually cut me out. Um... Alright, guys. Mm. I've got my chapati, and then. You just eat like this, you know, you just grab and then ah. Uh, yes. Mmm. Mm. Mm. It's really, really good. Very nice. <laughs> Even look at my party. Look at that. Layers, yeah. layers. After three attempts. <laughs> oh, oh layers. Yeah. Mmm. Mm, no, no. Yes. For dessert, we have some mango. I'm going to put some a lemon chili seasoning on the mango. Just just like this. Uh-huh. And just do pom pom pom. If I put it in that corner. <laughs> it's not coming out. Yeah, more, more, more. <laughs> more put more. <laughs> it's not in your mouth. It's okay. in your mouth. <clears throat> I bet it's not even hot. Nom, nom, nom. It's hot? A little bit hot. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it's not even because hot. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Was not giving them <laughs> I feel a little bit of pepper in my throat. Where's the vim that you had just a moment ago? Yeah, it's still nice though. I like it. It's too mm. much chili. It's nice. A massive thank you to Naomi. That cooking class was amazing. I'll leave the link below in the description box. Next, I met up with my Maasai warrior friend Gideon, who had handmade loads of bracelets for me and some of the little people in my life. He has loads of different styles to choose from, you can put your name on any of them. He also gave me a good price because I bought about 30 for all the kids in my form and I can't really show you those because it's got their names on it. They would probably love it but I'm not putting their names on the internet. Uh, I'm Gidu, um, I am from Yeni, we do our business here and uh, I, I'm from Amboseli. You can see how much the tide has come in today. If you haven't seen some of my previous Kenyan videos, check them out, but the difference is crazy. Final day at the beach, I'm going to Nairobi now, which I hope will be fun, but I feel like it's gonna be dead. I'm so used to the relaxing beach life and our flight's been changed again, like for the third time, Kenya Airways has changed our flight. So it's an hour delayed, so that's gonna be fun. Dead bathroom. <laughs> this is the bed, as you can see, there's no lights on the ceiling, so there's very poor lighting. There's only this one bulb on the wall. This is the safe. It has carpet inside. <laughs> and it looks very old. I don't think it even works. This is the state of the iron. Yeah, it's, it's very icky, so. Yeah, I'm looking forward to going to Nairobi and staying in a nice clean establishment. Yes. We left our hotel in Diani Beach and headed to the airport in Mombasa semi-long journey.
So to get back to Mombasa Airport from Diani Beach, you actually have to get onto a ferry and the ferry crossing is so busy, so thank God we were in a vehicle. The first ferry came, but they weren't letting any cars on. You can see just how many people were getting on this boat. The next ferry came and before we could get on, obviously all the people had to get off. I tried to do a time lapse, but clearly my hand was shaking like a leaf. On the ferry, security guard told me to take off my seatbelt in case the ferry sinks. That was a little bit alarming. We safely made it to the other side, and it's about another half an hour drive to the airport. I'm actually dead. So this airport has no walls and there were so many monkeys inside, it was crazy. The driver at the airport convinced us his car was big enough but clearly there wasn't enough boot space and he had our suitcases on the two front seats. Different but I rate the hustle. If you like this video check out one of the other ones on the screen here. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to press the subscribe button and the like button. Thank you!